Xin chào tất cả các em học sinh. Chào mừng các em đã quay trở lại với chương trình tiếng Anh lớp 11. Và như đã giới thiệu với các em ở những tiết trước, để học tốt chương trình tiếng Anh lớp 11, các em cần phải chuẩn bị hai quyển sách. Một, sách học sinh tiếng Anh lớp 11. Hai, sách bài tập tiếng Anh lớp 11. Các em cần lưu ý, ở trang 14 của quyển sách, các em sẽ có một thẻ cào để vào phần mềm IC Books. Nếu các em chưa có sách, các em hãy truy cập vào trang web www.icbooks.vn để được hỗ trợ. Chúc các em thành công. Now, we come to listening of Unit 2, Relationships, Teenage Relationships. Now, first one, question and answers. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, will you tell your parents about it? Why or why not? Skills. One. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, will you tell your parents about it? Why or why not? Yeah, it depends. But if I were you, I say yes. My parents think that teenage relationships, boys and girls, are useful to encourage us to study and to improve ourselves. And you can consult the information when you press on show's answer on IC Books. Now, we continue activity two. Listen to a talk show with host Vicky Holmes and guest speaker Dr. Dawson. Choose the best answer to complete each statement. But before listening, I would like to provide you some vocabulary. Now the first one, as you can see, you have a guest speaker. It is very popular on TV show. Khách mời, guest speaker. Psychologist, psychologist. Nhà tâm lý học. Oppose, oppose. Phản đối. Breakups, breakups. Sự đổ vỡ. Sự chia tay. Broken hearts. Broken hearts. Cõi lòng tan nát. A soldier to cry on. Một bờ vai để nương tựa. Suffer. Suffer. Chịu đựng. Respectful. Respectful. Tôn trọng. And now, we come to multiple choice. Two, listen to a talk show with host Vicky Holmes and guest speaker, Dr. Dawson. Choose the best answer to complete each statement. Now, in this activity, you read through from one to four. From years of age, many teenagers spend a lot of time thinking or talking about being in a relationship. Two, young people may feel more to talk about their relationships in the future if they openly discard feelings and friendships with their parents. Three, most parents are willing to. And four, Dr. Dawson's last advice to teenagers is that they should. Now listen to. Welcome to our talk show with guest speaker Dr. Dawson, a psychologist who will be talking about how teenagers and their parents deal with problems. Dr. Dawson most parents are worried about their children getting involved in romantic relationships. What's your opinion on this? From 15 to 19 years of age, many teenagers spend a lot of time thinking or talking about being in a relationship. So, do you mean this is part of the teen normal growth and development? Yes. Young people learn how to form safe and healthy relationships with friends, parents, teachers and romantic partners. This can prepare them for adult life, so parents should not oppose their relationships. I suppose many parents will be surprised to hear this. 
What's, What's your advice for the teenagers, then? Well, they should not be afraid to talk to their parents about their feelings and friendships. This can help them feel confident to discuss their relationships in the future. So you mean teenagers should listen to their parents and ask them to listen to what they are saying? Exactly. Most parents are always willing to lend an ear to what their children are saying. This is even more important when young people suffer breakups or broken hearts. They need a shoulder to cry on and a sympathetic ear. Thank you, Dr. Dawson, for your very helpful advice to teenagers and their parents. Do you have any last words for them? Parents shouldn't get very anxious when their teenage children are in a relationship. Saying strongly no will make teenagers stop speaking about their feelings. Teenagers should also listen to their parents' views and be respectful. Now answer the question number one from So we choose C from 15 to 19 because in the conversation you can hear that Dr. Dawson from 15 to 19 years of age, many teenagers spend a lot of time thinking or talking about being in a relationship. Number two, young people may feel more. So we choose B, confident to talk about their relationship in the future if they openly discard feelings and friendships with their parents because in the conversation, we can hear this can help them feel confident to discard their relationships in the future. Number three, most parents are willing to. Number three is C, lend a sympathetic ear to their children because in the conversation, most parents are always willing to lend an ear to what their children are saying. And number four, Dr. Dawson's last advice to teenagers is that they should A, respect their parents will and after doing the exercise press on submit button if we have uh, some information wrong we can press on try again to do the exercise let's move to activity 3 listen again and answer the questions 3 listen again answer the questions Welcome to our talk show with guest speaker Dr. Dawson, a psychologist who will be talking about how teenagers and their parents deal with problems. Dr. Dawson, most parents are worried about their children getting involved in romantic relationships. What's your opinion on this? From 15 to 19 years of age, many teenagers spend a lot of time thinking or talking about being in a relationship. So, do you mean this is part of the teen normal growth and development? Yes. Young people learn how to form safe and healthy relationships with friends, parents, teachers and romantic partners. This can prepare them for adult life. So parents should not oppose their relationships. I suppose many parents will be surprised to hear this. What's your advice for the teenagers then? Well, they should not be afraid to talk to their parents about their feelings and friendships. This can help them feel confident to discuss their relationships in the future. So you mean teenagers should listen to their parents and ask them to listen to what they are saying? Exactly. Most parents are always willing to lend an ear to what their children are saying. This is even more important when young people suffer breakups or broken hearts. They need a shoulder to cry on and a sympathetic ear. Thank you, Dr. Dawson, for your very helpful advice to teenagers and their parents. Do you have any last words for them? Parents shouldn't get very anxious when their teenage children are in a relationship. Saying strongly no will make teenagers stop speaking about their feelings. Teenagers should also listen to their parents' views and be respectful. Now, answer the question, what is the main topic of the talk show? So, as you can listen in the conversation, the talk show is about how teenagers and their parents 
deal with problems. The talk show And their parents deal with problems. How about number two? What do teenagers need to do to prepare for becoming adults? So they need to learn to form safe and healthy relationship with other people. Now, number two. They need to learn to farm, shave, and healthy relationship. What other people? And we continue. Number three. According to Dr. Dawson, what should parents do when their children experience breakups in their relationships? And four, should parents strongly oppose their children's romantic relationships? Now you listen and Answer the question. After that, press on submit button. And to track your understanding, I would like you to listen again and fill in the blanks what the suitable words. Now, I give you eight words. Relationships, breakups, life, crying, feelings, teenagers, friends, and advice. Now, as you can see, from fifth, Dr. Dawson, most are worried about their children getting involved in romantic. What's your opinion on it? So, the word to fill in this case is relationships. The second, from 15 to 19 years of age, many Teenagers spend a lot of time thinking or talking about being in a relationship. So do you mean that is part of the teen normal growth and development? Yes, young people learn how to form shape and healthy relationship with friends, parents, teachers and romantic partners. They can prepare them for adult life. So parents should not oppose their relationships. I suppose many parents will feel surprised to hear that. What's your advice for the teenagers then? Well, they should not be afraid to talk to their parents about their feelings and friendships. They can help them feel confident to discuss their relationships in the future. So you mean teenagers should listen to their parents and ask them to listen to what they are saying? Exactly. Most parents are always willing to lend an ear to what their children are saying. That is even more important when young people suffer breakups of broken hearts. They need a shoulder to cry on and a sympathetic ear. Now, we continue. Activity 4. Discussion. In your opinion, what is the right age for a romantic relationship? Discuss with a partner. It depends. But you can consult in IC books. So, in your opinion, what is the right age for a romantic relationship? Discuss with a partner. Yeah. Now you discuss with your partner. And it depends. But for me, 
when he or she is mature enough and is ready for a possible marriage. For this reason, the right age can be different from person to person. And you can consult the information in IC books. We've just finished listening of Unit 2, Relationships. At home, review your lesson. Prepare the next lesson, writing. And don't forget to access IC books to practice. Goodbye for now.